Okay, moving forward. Here is something pretty that you can wear on the party. There is something prettier. <laughs> Someone said, part A, change here to there. But why? There is something pretty that you can wear. So basically, this is a conversation where somebody has probably identified a nice dress, a nice attire that this person can wear. Person A has identified a nice dress or attire for person B to wear. So which means here is the more appropriate thing. So this is correct, this is wrong. That you can, no problem with B. Where, what's the right preposition? A lot of you came back and said in, a lot of you came back and said for, the right preposition is to, right? Usually, you're talking about going to this party, right? So you're going to be wearing this and going to the party. So we're talking about movement involved. Every time there is movement involved, the best thing to do is on is an incorrect preposition that is established, right? You wear to the party, yes. In fact, if you look at most expressions, let me think of uh, example sentences here. So I can say, I have nothing to wear uh, to the dinner, right? Here, I'm specifically talking about that particular event, dinner. So that's why you have the usually uh, meals, you don't use definite article, but you're, when you're referring to something very specific, then yes, I have nothing to wear to the dinner. Or I can say, uh, you can't um, wear those clothes, work. Those clothes are inappropriate. You know, today's uh, a weekday, it's formal, so what you're wearing is inappropriate. You can't wear those clothes to work. Um, I bought... Uh, what did I buy? Let's use to the party only. I bought a pair of earrings. Earrings to wear to the party, right? Usually, when you're looking at, you know, going someplace, you're going to be wearing that and going to that place. So, usually, whenever there's movement involved, try and uh, stick to uh, two. Four always uh, brings in purpose. Right here, it's only talking about the event and that you that you'll be going there. Right, the purpose is not very clear. So, depending on what you're trying to convey, prepositions also will vary. I have nothing to wear for lunch. I have nothing to wear for dinner. Okay, so the so error is in part C. Okay, you wear to the party. Look at what I'm doing, and I do like I do. Look at what I'm doing and do like. I do because why not in the party because we're not talking about something happening within the space of the party we're talking about somebody identifying an attire that this person can wear and go to the party that's why in is appropriate right you always use in as a preposition when you're referring to within a specific area so we're not ha ha talking about something happening in the party we're talking about the context is referring to Something that has been identified that this person can wear and go to the party. Okay. So here, uh, this person is basically asking this person to mirror whatever this person is doing. Right. So, Roshni, correct. And I don't know anybody else has said the same comment. If that is the case, then the error is in part C. Look at what I'm doing and do not like as I do. Right. Do as I do. Okay. But a lot of us talk like this, you know, whatever is there in the... Uh, expression look at what i'm doing and do like i do we conversationally say this but it's incorrect do as i do would be the right expression so error is in part c okay spot the error okay the transformers will not be replaced if they burned down due to overloaded so as soon as you read it you know that hey uh, it cannot be overloaded right most of you are coming back and saying part four so I want to challenge you, okay, apart from part four, look at the construction of the sentence, okay. If you have to rephrase the sentence, try and see if you are able to identify some hint word or clue word and see if there's any other part where you think it's a little out of place. What's the hint word? Let me see, somebody, somebody actually mentioned it. If they are burned down, okay. So another question, okay. What's the, what's the hint word then? Yes, it's a conditional sentence, right? So, if I have to look at if as my hint word, and if I have to rephrase this sentence, right? 
Now, what conditional is this? Can somebody tell me? We have first conditional, second conditional, third conditional, right? There's a hint for your first conditional also. What conditional is this? Okay, let me rephrase this sentence. So, I'm going to say, if they, meaning referring to the subject, our transformers, if they burn down due to overload, the transformers, the transformers will not be replaced. So if you look at this question, actually there's more than one part that has the error, right? It's a first conditional, simple present tense and then it, you have will in the second clause, right? If they burn down due to overload, the transformers will not be replaced. This is a first conditional, which means I can't have a, it's a conditional statement. It's talking about if this happens, this will what will happen. So I can't have a past tense here, right? It has to be burn down, present tense. So the error is in part 3 and part 4. There are two parts that have the error. So you change burned down to burn down. So, uh, Vijit, I don't know if there's a problem with the source or when you were typing, you typed it incorrectly. So, ideally, you know, if this is a question that comes in the exam, as it is, I will skip this because part 3 is the has an error, part 4 also has an error. Right? So, that's it. Instead of you being very, you know, yes, the obvious error is in part 4, no doubt about it. But you will end up losing a mark if you choose part 4 because there is an error in part 3 as well, right? The idea is for you to quickly scan, be able to scan the sentence and see, okay, what is this context? I have an if, right? By now, because you've practiced so many questions, you should be in the mindset to be able to identify that, okay, this is a conditional statement. Okay, this is the first conditional. What's the form? Is it meeting the form? No, it's not. Done, right? So, I'm assuming, right, I'm assuming that you would not have this scenario where you have more than parts having two errors, right? I'm just assuming Vijit either have made a, what, what can I say, a typo error, right? So, keep this in mind and you tell me the form quickly for second conditional, third conditional because somebody asked me that. Let's quickly look at it and close this. So, the context is if I say, so first conditional, let's, let me just put it here. I normally don't take up additional questions, but that's okay because it's part of the uh, question, right? So if, and then if I have simple present, which we just saw, you can also give me examples. And then we have will plus the future, right? If this happens, something else will happen. Second conditional quickly, think of a context. Let me, let me think of a sentence. So if I say, um, if, I found her note, okay, I would, right, that's the second conditional, I would. So, you have past tense, so if plus past tense and then you will have would plus the uh, base, that is infinitive, right, the base form of the verb. I would, if I found her note, I would uh, give her a call. Okay, third conditional, what's the form? Third conditional form, any, same thing. So for third conditional, you need the past participle or the past perfect rather. If plus past perfect, right? And then you would have would have plus whatever the past participle is, right? So think of a sentence. So same thing, if I had found her note, Right? The same example I'm using, I would have given, past participle of give, right? So, you're using the base form for the second conditional. For third conditional, you're using the past participle, give, gave, given. I would have given her a call. That's it, right? So, you need to, what you need to remember is, hey, first conditional, this is the form. Second conditional, this is the form. Third conditional, this is the form. So you just need to remember the forms, okay? Basically, that's it.
Okay, let's move on. So here we have identified saying, boss, this is also incorrect. This is also incorrect. 